Hello my bunnies, it's Tiki Streakets here and today I have for y'all another Polly McClay tutorial. Today we're going to be making a particular character from the game Terraria and the person, this was a request video, the person who requested it, their name will be right here. And they wanted me to make just not any specific character, just but just a character from the game Terraria. I'm sorry my light is wigging out on me over there so I'm just going to real quick just... Yeah, we're just gonna turn that off and be in the dark, apparently. My other light is also charging, so yay! Just darkness everywhere around me. <clears throat> Anyways, and this, they didn't spe um, specifically request any particular character, but the character that I made, sorry, that's my sister coughing in the room, other room. The character that I decided to make, I looked through some of the non um, NPCs in the game and some of the villains, the monsters, and this was the one that I decided to go with. This is a, they have a regular bunny, but they also have several different bunnies. This is the corrupt form of the bunny rabbit from the game. And it is so dark because all of my lights are just dimmed out all at once. And you'll see it at the end as well. <laughs> I think it came out super cute. And I do want to do more characters from the game, more of the monsters slash villainy things because there's just so many cute ones. There's also a few other things I want to work on, but next week will definitely be, because it's the end of the month, my monthly artist feature on my YouTube channel for other artists that I've found during the month. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it right now. And all the other stuff I will leave subliminal. And I have one more request video after this, which I'll upload later, but to next week again will be the... Ugh, I'm all over the place today. It's because it's so dark. I hate the lighting. <clears throat> next week's video will be the monthly artist feature and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye bye my bunnies for this tutorial the only color you're going to need is purple from sculpey 3 and whatever type of base you want to put it on if you want to put it on a base or not then i pre-rolled all the balls that i would need and i'm starting with the larger one in the back and I rolled it into a nice chunky teardrop shape. Once I got it as shaped as I would like it to be, then I went on ahead and cut the top off at an angle and then just kind of bent it up slightly. Next, I used the second largest ball to make a head. So I just did what I usually do, but instead of just pushing down at one time, I pinched with my index and thumb to make this indent. It makes it a little more creepy. You can see it from this angle a little better. To like make the shape a little more skull-like and creepy-like. I was going for creepy. <clears throat> Anywho, next I used a rubber tool to blend the head into the neck. I also used glue and a metal wire, which I didn't show on screen, but you get the drift. Next, I took those other two small balls in, near the front and rolled them in the teardrop shapes, then cut them off at an angle. These are going to be the feet and the legs for the front half of the body, so I just put them on the body, and then I just poked two little lines on each side for the toes. Next, I'm going to make the back feet, which I'm also going to make these into chunky little teardrop shapes and then just boot two little lines with, an, with my exacto blade or whatever you have handy to make the indentations for the toes. Next, I'm going to use these two smaller balls in the back as well, and I'm going to use these to make the thighs, which are easy. Just press it down with the palm of your hand and, until it's kind of flat like this. It's pretty easy. Then do it with the other ball, and then after that... I put them on the body, which I forgot to take a picture of, and now we're moving on to this for the tail, which I'm just going to cut at an angle, just like I did the neck, and where it's angled at, just stick it onto the bottom. Also use a little bit of glue for every piece that you attach. It just makes it sturdier over the long run, or liquid Sculpey, whatever you have. Next I'm going to make the ears, which were these two balls in the front, which I'm going to roll into teardrop shapes, just like I did with the other stuff. Then I'm going to cut the bottoms off. And then get something to roll with and roll the ears out kind of flat, but not too flat. You can see they're still a little thick. And then just go ahead and stick them on top of the head and use a rubber blending tool or something and blend them into the head, just like I did here. Next, that last ball we had in the very front, I cut it into three pieces, three small pieces, itty bitty, and made two little eyelids and one little ball for the nose. For the nose, just pinch with your index and thumbs till you get a triangular shape like this. 
the eyelets I just cut a small ball in half and then just cut the bottoms off and made these like eyelids slash eyebrows next I cut out the mouth shape which I just kind of cut like an oval shape out of the mouth it's hard to explain but you know I just cut a giant oval out after that I used glue plus toothpicks that I cut the tips off of to make the teeth and I just glued them into the mouth next to make it a little more spooky I added texture with my exacto blade all across his body I also decided his nose needed a little something so I did a line down the center it's a little off center but you get the gist next I baked him in an oven and I forgot to put a picture of that I'm all over the place and then once he was baked I glued his eyeballs in once his eyeballs are glued in I decided it's time to paint, paint this little base here and then I painted it with this light purple color that I have I only did one coat but it would probably do better with two I just got lazy next I used E6000 after it was dried to glue it to the base and I just kind of covered up the messed up spots with his butt <laughs> And then once that was all dry, I used polycrylic floor varnish to glaze them, and then you're done. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry this was all over the place, but I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye, my bunnies.